Hello, I'm Rita Moreno, and I have a friend named Jeffrey Bleich who is running for lieutenant governor. I know him, he's a friend, he's smart, he's honest, he works like hell, and because he works like hell, he gets things done. It's why Obama hired him originally, and it is why Cal State has made him its chair. And it is why also we would be so much better off with him as lieutenant governor, Jeffrey Bleich. Watch this and see what I mean. Thank you. Jeff is wicked smart, and he's curious, um, and he cares deeply about making this world a better place. He cares about every single person he comes across. He's like the most approachable, down-to-earth, regular guy around. He did a lot of work, which is really unheralded. At one time, was president of both the State Bar and the, uh, the California State University <laughs> System, the largest university system in the world and the largest bar in the world. He was ambassador in Australia. He was editor-in-chief of the California Law Review at Berkeley. He clerked for Abner Mikva on the DC Circuit and then for Chief Justice Rehnquist on the US Supreme Court. So he's been involved in these, these sort of marquee, very important cases, all pro bono. Prop 187 is exactly what I hate about politics. It was presented not because Pete Wilson thought it was likely to remain good law, but because he wanted to win votes to intimidate people. And as soon as it passed, we ran into court the next morning, got a temporary restraining order, and no one had to live under that law for a single second. After Proposition 209 passed, and I'd handled a bunch of cases, went up to the Supreme Court twice, but I thought, you know, the courts aren't the only place that you battle this. We developed these minority scholarship programs, we raised money. Wherever the fight needed to be taken, we took it there. He uh, opposed, don't ask, don't tell. There was a Navy Lieutenant, Paul Thomason, who had received the highest commendations from everyone with whom he had served, um, and he was gay. And after Don't Ask, Don't Tell, he said, I believe in America, I'm patriotic, and I don't lie. I'm not gonna pretend I'm not gay. I got a call asking if I would take this case on, and I was like, you know, this is about as righteous a case as you could get. I'd been working on ending violence against women and kids, but we weren't gonna make progress if we didn't work in partnership with men. One of the first people I called was Jeff Bleich. It gave us the ability to develop a whole set of tools for men in order to raise the profile of this issue. It's not a woman's issue, it's not a children's issue. You know, it's a human issue. And we now have a program that's almost in every state and it's making a difference. And I think after the, the election, the most recent election, I realized Jeff could be incredibly effective. He has bigger ideas about what needs to be done to move California forward. My feeling about Lieutenant Governor is it gives you the chance to have a bigger perspective. You don't do the politics of legislation every day. People are worried about what happens when technology takes away whole segments of our jobs. Technology is going to shorten the amount of time that our skill level is sufficient to, for us to do a job, and that we're gonna to have to be educated very differently than we've been educated up till now. We have nine times as many people with mental health problems in our prisons as we have in our mental health facilities. And we have an epidemic of opioid addiction and depression and anxiety among young people. There are ways that we can strengthen our democracy and hold ourselves accountable in a new way, but someone's got to take responsibility for that. That's why I'm running for Lieutenant Governor.